All right, you're about to meet a remarkable woman. After years of being told, you know what? You're a hypochondriac. And this young woman from New Jersey, Cinnaminson, finally gets a diagnosis. But that's just the beginning of her story. Valerie dislocated her ankle when she was 14 years old, but it just wouldn't heal. She had tests and scans, but when she continued to complain about intense pain long afterwards, some doctors suggested she was just faking it. At the age of 20, Valerie was finally diagnosed with EDS, a rare and difficult to diagnose condition that impacts connective tissue. The joints bend backwards and patients suffer dislocations. When she learned there was no cure, she decided to become a physical therapist to provide relief to EDS patients like herself and provide a better quality of life. She dubbed herself Patient Zero and made it happen. Isn't that something? It really is. She's amazing. And Valerie Iovine is right here with us to talk about your story. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And it's just so interesting. I mean, 20 years of people telling you, oh, no, it's not that serious. Or, I mean, what was, I guess they thought that you should be healed by now or they think it was in your head? A lot of people with this condition get told it's all in their head. I was one of them. Absolutely, yeah. It just seemed to be unknown. How do you pronounce it? It's Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So, uh, what is it? So, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is a connective tissue disorder. So, in EDS, you don't make collagen the right way. And collagen should be the glue that holds everything in your body nice and stable. Yeah. So, anywhere where you have connective tissue, your organs, your internal lining, your joints, all those things don't have that glue substance to say. And so, everything stretches too much and it gets too porous. And it leads to some other conditions. Well, then, how does it manifest itself? So it's a congenital issue, meaning that you're born with it. Okay. So a lot of people don't know that they have this when they're young. And it starts, ha you have these symptoms that keep getting worse and people Give can't me a symptom. The... For me, I, had, I was rolling my ankles constantly as a kid. Wow. Yep, I was giving out all the time. Falling had... down? Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it became pretty normal for me that, you know, I was the clumsy kid right. or the always injured kid. I remember one time when I was young, everybody was counting up how many times I'd been on crutches as a child. Because I think people probably thought, oh, you know, yeah, she's just accident prone. Exactly. I get mm. told that a lot. Then at what point did it start to shift where you say, okay, it's not just that I'm accident prone. Like, something's happening here. So I needed an ankle reconstruction when I was 14 years old, and then it stretched back out. And so they were saying, I'd never seen this before. This I've never had to do this surgery twice on anyone. And it still wasn't even at that point that we had taken it all too seriously. It was more so I was in an undergraduate lecture, and somebody mentioned Eller Stanlos in passing, and I identified with it so much. And so I was bringing it up to everybody, and everyone was saying, this is so rare, that can't be it. And I went up to a specialist in New York, and I found the diagnosis. What are they, what's the surgery? What so, do they do? Surgery that I had was to tighten up my ankle so that it would stop giving out. And I had really stretched out some things in there. So that was giving me a lot of issues with walking. But typically, there isn't like a surgery you should be doing Does for it hurt? syndrome. It does, yeah. So your joints can kind of move and shift out of place. Yeah. So even when they're not out of place, you can still have pain from that friction that goes on within Are you the joints. In pain all the time? I don't want to sound like a drama queen, but yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah no, 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 please. please. <laughs> all that you've done and been through. So, so this is every moment. Is it whenever you're moving, or even when you're just sitting? Do you feel pain or? Uh, kind of, yes to both. Wow. And it's not always the same place. So it's not always that my left ankle is always the worst. Sometimes it's my neck. Sometimes it's my back. And it kind of moves and shifts around. And no cure. There's no cure, but there's great management. We, because you've helped with that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're now actually using your hands on other humans. I am. <laughs> it, 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 to help you get through it. I do, yeah. And so then. I'm a physical therapist with Strive Physical Therapy, and I treat other people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and a common condition that comes with it. It's called POTS. And What's POTS? POTS is a cardiac condition, but it's governed by your nervous system. And so you have difficulty regulating things that your body should do on its own. So for example, like your heart rate and your blood pressure having abnormal changes when you come up to stand, and then you feel like you're going to faint, or you do, or you get dizzy, something mm. like that. Are you famous? <laughs> I'm not famous, no. <laughs> well, I think you should be. <laughs> because it sounds like, I bet it's, a, it, it's another level of care when the person who's treating you or helping you get through this knows exactly what you're feeling, wouldn't you say? You know, it's kind of neat when somebody can explain something and they're saying, does that make any sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? And I could say, yes, I do. <laughs> God, how helpful that is that for other people? It is, yeah. Something that they can relate to. Wow. So, 
What were you feeling when this ring was slipped on your finger <laughs> not I long ago? All when, sorts of great things. When did you get this? I got that last April, and I'll be getting another one in April. The wedding the ring. The wedding ring. Anyway, who's the, who's the person? I'm getting married to Joe. He's my fiance. We've been dating for a while. Okay, who's Joe? <laughs> <laughs> We've been dating for quite some time. We met at Drexel. Yeah. He's been my greatest support along with my family. Oh, wonderful. So I couldn't be happier. Uh, Cinnamonson, right? Cinnamonson is where I am now. And who has it? Who has the store in Reading Terminal Market that we know so well? That's my dad. That's your dad. That's my dad and all the families down there. Yep. Uh, I buy. That's us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If people are seeing this and they want to reach out to you or even get treatment from you, can they do that? Absolutely, yeah. So right now I'm listed on the Eller Stanley Society directory, and they have a She's lot of famous. great. On the whole directory You're for it. Oh my goodness! But go ahead. Sorry. Uh, their website is awesome. It's a fantastic resource, and I'm listed on there. That's how I get a lot of their referrals, in addition to the local doctors. Have you always had this positive attitude about life? You know, I've been called smiley my whole life. Wow. Well, right. You're not letting it yeah. stop you, are you? Thank you. That's, that's my goal. Oh. I love that you just said that. I, Thank you. That Joe guy's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that. Thanks.